getting flashbacks to Angel's Landing. Our names are Mike and Heather. We're traveling the US in our van Appa on a mission to visit all 50 states. Subscribe and join us as we try to figure out this whole van life thing. As always, thanks for watching. Hello from Utah. We left Zion National Park yesterday and slowly married our way to Moab, which is where we are today. We are fortunate enough to be camped outside of the trailhead for the Corona Arch Trail which we will be doing tomorrow morning while we wait for our reservation to get into Arches National Park. This campsite is absolutely beautiful, especially with the sun setting now. It's just adding an extra layer of beauty as the sun is hitting the rocks to the side here that we're going to be hiking tomorrow morning. Moab is really popping. There's a lot going on. We saw a bunch of off-roading Jeeps and other vehicles, as well as people in the sky, everything in between, whitewater rafting. So this really seems like the place to be if you want adventure. So I'm very excited for our adventures to start tomorrow as we go into Arches National Park. But in the meantime, we are gonna cook dinner. We are hungry, so let's eat. That's amazing. It's a little bit buggy, so we're gonna drop the mosquito nets. <laughs> we're a lot buggy. Yeah. Because it is quite hot out and I don't really feel like cooking, we're just gonna kind of cheat and make some food in the air fryer. We have chicken nuggets and mozzarella sticks, right? We are woken up, it's just a little after 5.30 and we're getting ready to start the Corona Arch Trail, which is just across the street from our camping area and hopefully a little less buggy. We we're kind of getting eaten up by mosquitoes, but I'm excited to get started. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give up. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. We have come to a section we have to hold onto a chain and climb up. My arms are still sore from the hike the other day in Zion where we did Angel's Landing, so we'll see how this goes. Good job, babe. So we are catching those views of the Corona Arch just over there. I've never seen a geological rock arch like that. So that is really amazing. Absolutely worth the hike. And then there's also a window up through the ceiling of one of the uh, alcoves over here that looks really cool too. But that is really, really neat. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Try to spread my wings so I can fly. Oh, when the darkness starts to fade, feels like things are gonna go my way. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. We got to see the sunrise out here at the Corona Arch. Absolutely beautiful. The arch was super impressive, way bigger than I thought it would be. And there's some other really cool rock features around to kind of be enamored with. But we're gonna hike back down to the trailhead and back across the street to Appa. We have a few hours to kill before we can go into Arches National Park. So we're gonna go back and figure Probably out. take a nap. Yeah, <laughs> honestly. <laughs>
We have made it back to the campground after that hike. It's kind of hard to believe that we were the only ones in the entire campsite last night and that there's more people at the trailhead now that it's a little bit later out than in the campground in general. So I think we really lucked out with this spot here and that hike. Absolutely an amazing way to wake up this morning. With Arches National Park, it's time entry. So we can't just head over there now because our entry time isn't until this afternoon. So we have some time to kill and we thought what better way than to go into Moab and check that out a little bit. We are headed back into Moab. We are passing what's called the Painted Rock, and it's really neat. On the left-hand side, you can see petroglyphs on the wall. It's just a really cool thing. Utah is full of beautiful sights, and that's just one of many, and I'm very excited to get to Arches National Park today, where we'll see many more. We have made it into the town of Moab where we are now leaving the grocery store we were hanging out at for a few hours. And by hanging out, I mean we totally took a nap after that early morning hike. But we did look up pizza places in the area, so now we're going to venture over to a Neapolitan pizza place, did you say? Antica Forma? We're heading there to get us some pizza before we head into Arches National Park. We have more time to kill, so we figured we might as well go get pizza. <laughs> plate was full like seconds ago. <laughs> Hi. How's it going? Good. Good. How are you? Tomorrow. Oh, oh, it's for tomorrow. Oh, okay. Well, that was a mistake. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Hi, just circling around and heading out. Oh, cool. Thank, Thank you. you very much. We just tried getting into Arches National Park and I had accidentally made the reservation for tomorrow. So the very nice park ranger said just to leave the park and modify the reservation because there's plenty of open availability today. So I did that and we're gonna try to go in a second time. So fingers crossed it works this time. Hi. Hi again. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Must happen frequently enough. Yeah, all right. We made it. Yes, so now we are heading towards the visitor center because we've got a passport book to stamp and plans to set into motion for hiking and driving. Oh, it's right here. That nice. was easy. We're really good at this. <laughs> We just stopped in at the visitor center and got our passport stamp. We also talked to a ranger who said that they do not suggest doing the delicate arch hike today because of the heat advisory. So they suggested the upper viewpoint. Today is a day in the middle of summer and on top of that there is a heat advisory so the temperature is hovering right around 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. Additionally, it's about uh, one and a half miles out, so three miles round trip in a totally exposed Direct desert sun. environment. Yeah. So there's no shade. So just in terms of being safe, mm -hmm. we're going to pass on that today. Even though it's one of the things that we were hoping to do here, we'll be able to see it from the upper viewpoint, which is about a half mile walk. So we'll be still able to get some great views of it. So I'm a little bit disappointed that we can't hike directly to the arch, but honestly, after this morning's hike, getting that up close and personal to an arch, I don't feel too bad. That's kind of why we thought to do the other arch in the morning, because it is obviously the desert climate and it was made for the perfect kind of temperature. Unfortunately, all the morning slots for Arches National Park filled up weeks in advance. This is a map of the park. We are here at the visitor center. This is the delicate arch, which is the standalone arch and probably the most iconic structure here at Arches National Park. Typically you do this three mile hike, but because of the weather, we're probably gonna skip that and instead go to the upper arch viewpoint. And then we'll continue on and stop at some more of the viewpoints along the way. So we're still gonna have a great day here in Arches. We're just gonna be a lot less sweaty than we originally thought. We have come to sort of the first 
monument feature here that we've recognized and that is balanced rock. There's a larger rock that's made up of a harder, more durable stone perched up on top of a softer stone that is eroded away, leaving this kind of precariously perched pillar. That was some good alliteration for you. We're headed to another famous geological figure here in Arches National Park, which is the Windows. And on the way there, you can actually see a balanced rock way over there from the other road. So that's pretty cool. Cause all I need is you. Aren't they really cool? Yeah. These are the windows. And something that's incredible about Arches National Park is that they have over 2,000 arches, including windows amongst them. This national park has the most geological natural arches in the entire world. like a sauna out there. It is so hot. I think we're definitely making the right call and not doing that delicate arch hike because I'm pretty sure neither of us would make it. I'm totally fine with turning this day into a arch safari from the air conditioned van rather than a hiking adventure day because it is a hot one out there. But that's not to say we're not doing any walking. The windows loop that we did was about a mile. It's about a mile round trip to the upper delicate arch viewpoint. So we're still gonna be out and about, but uh, hopefully not too far from the air conditioned van. top of the delicate arch overlook and then we quickly turned around to get back to the van for AC. I can't even talk right now. Yeah. <laughs> I will say we did see people who had hiked up to the arch at this point during the day, but I think that we made the smart decision on <laughs> not going up there because it is really, really hot. I don't think we can quite fully express how hot it is today. But if you take it from my complexion matching my shirt, um, it's, it's pretty hot. We're doing our best to stay hydrated out here as we do these short little hikes. Everything throughout the park recommends that you drink a gallon of water a day while you're in the desert. So we're working on it. We're also working our way through the national park here. So we're about halfway done with the viewpoints. So we got a couple more to do and then we're done with Arches National Park. It really is cool that you can see the majority of all of the features by your vehicle. So even though it is a hot day, we're still being able to enjoy the park because we can still see everything from either the easy vantage points or from the road, which is always great and welcomed on hot days like today. Utah is no slouch when it comes to really cool scenery. And this park has some of the most amazing and unique stuff we've seen anywhere. End of the road here at Arches National Park. We are in the Devil's Garden. There is a trail that you can hike out. I believe it's like seven miles or something. That's way too crazy sounding right now. So we're gonna say not today Satan, pun totally intended, because it is most definitely as hot as the place that Satan resides or the devil resides today. So we are not doing that. 
Yeah. But it has been added to our bucket list because there's some pretty amazing features through there, including more arches and more structure. So definitely you're gonna do it one day, just not today. Yeah, I think that's the kind of hike that you wake up first thing in the morning and come in for. But if you hike the entire length, I wanna say there's something like eight arches that you come across and that's see, cool. which would be really neat. But yeah, that's a, that's a early morning hike, not a uh, middle of the afternoon beginning of evening hike. Added to the bucket list, mm -hmm. I don't see that there's any way we're not in Utah again oh, gosh, checking no. out these parks. They're absolutely amazing. Yeah. So for sure gonna be back here and gonna have to check those two off. Yeah. Utah has slowly crept up to one of my favorite states here. It's definitely way hot, but I absolutely love the scenery and everything. So I think I'm definitely gonna have to come back in the off season and I feel like it's just gonna skyrocket even further up my top states list. If it was a little bit cooler, I I'd be a little bit more sad to be leaving, but I for sure will definitely be excited to be back. Mm -hmm. Hopefully when it's not in triple digits. We've only scratched the surface of things to do here in Utah and I'm very excited for a future trip here. But for now we are leaving Arches National Park, heading back into Moab because there are several shower facilities throughout the town. So they definitely know what's up with the seat and people hiking and I appreciate that. So we're gonna go grab a shower and then keep heading north because today's our last day in Utah. We are heading to Wyoming next. So we are freshly showered, feeling good. This liquid is not sweat, it is fresh shower water. I don't know where I'm going with this. All I'm saying is that I'm feeling good, energized, and ready for a long drive ahead of us to Wyoming. Yep, so we are going to get as far as we can tonight and then see where the road leads us as we make our way in. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed our adventures here in Utah and we look forward to sharing those that we have in Wyoming with you all. Until then, we'll see you next time.